So in the last episode, Daniel, the were beast of mongoose, apparently Timon is a meerkat, not a mongoose. That sounds weaker. So you left your home and entered a big town where you've heard there's a guild of adventurers. Wow, this is going to be some epic scene. There are other adventurers. Some are dressed really well with shining armor. Some are shady as fuck. They're just standing in a corner, dressed in a hood. I want to go talk to the shady people. Am I allowed? Am I free to do stuff, or is this like in a game where it's still like a prologue and I can't do anything? But to be perfectly honest, I was just drawing a picture for the animators. I don't even know what to do. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> okay. Um, you nervously walk towards the empty counter and ring the bell. Ding ding. <laughs> From a side came a blue figure. Ooh. Ridiculous hair and no eyes. Oh, oh, it's you. <laughs> yeah. I was like, blue hair. Immediately, I'm like, oh, this girl's going to be so hot. You're a town owner? or no, you're I'm a... the guild master. You're the guild master? Yeah. You gave yourself the guild master role while I'm a wear meerkat? Yeah. Okay. And I say, you're most welcome to the guild. And the guild is always open to new D-class personal dummies to die as our expendables. I say, bro, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> no. So would you like to join the guild? Yes, Mr. Blue haired man that I don't know. I would love to join the guild and become the best wear meerkat that I could possibly be. Okay, okay. I like your enthusiasm. But to level your capability, I must send you on a test mission and assign you a rank. Okay, what are the ranks? You get to start as either iron, bronze, or silver. Oh. You have three lives, and if you lose it all, you're dead. You'll have to reincarnate. Oh. And we have to do the pilot again. Wait, no way. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So we could be on episode seven and then the next time it'll be episode one again? Yeah. Are you? People are not going to be happy. The mission is to go to the Whispering Forest located about 50 miles from the town. Okay. And you have to extract the core of a slime, a mindless liquid monster that disrupts the hunters and gatherers from their work. Our alchemy team needs it for their research. Uh, actually, let me reintroduce you to one of our alchemy team. Uh, Theo? Oh, uh, yo, what's up? Let's go! <laughs> Wait, I, sh I should act surprised. Wait, is that is that Theo? Yo, I haven't seen you in a minute. It's been exactly one year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you you look different. You look jacked. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I've been taking a lot of manoroids, getting my strength. We need a slime core to remedy the manoroids because he has too much muscle mass to proceed with any experiments. He cannot pour a flask. Oh. <laughs> An alchemist too jacked <laughs> I, to work with chemistry. <laughs> Wait, what race am I? <laughs> I? I don't even know my race. Oh, we never get to decide. What race do you want to be? A dark elf? It's a bit too cliche choice. A he chose a meerkat. Okay, Jack oh, Dwarf. Uh, <laughs> a dwarf <laughs> alchemist. Oh, that's spicy. <laughs> Because dwarves are usually blacksmiths. All the other alchemists are like pouring liquids out of their flasks. You have a hammer, you're smashing the flask. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't this working? <laughs> uh, so to proceed with the mission, you receive the map of uh, Whispering Forest. This is all we're going to do for Theo's intro? Yeah. <laughs> we're not even going to acknowledge that he was gone for like eight months. He's a jacked dwarf alchemist. What more do you want? Can we give him 10 seconds to, to let people know what he's been up to? I got really jacked. No. <laughs> not in the D&D, man. Like, in real life. Oh, real life. I also got jacked. He has gotten jacked. But, but yeah, no, life just happened, you know? Yeah. But he's back. I'm back. In town for the weekend. It's good to catch up, though. Yeah, dude. I saw you on Instagram. You were so jacked. <laughs> Holy crap. Bro, have you seen Theo on Instagram? I gotta show you. I gotta show Guys, I forgot where I was. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Where am I? <laughs> well, we had to introduce Theo properly. Like, Yeah. I missed all of you guys. Okay. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. You covered a good distance. Night's coming and it's dangerous to move in the dark. You need to set up camp. Which location do you choose? Inside a cave, open field, by the river, by the lake, by the stone wall. I was thinking maybe cave, like depends on what kind of cave. Is it like a deep cave or is it one of those that, that just stop? It's getting dark, so you guys will have to go inside to check. My meerkat instincts are telling me I should go into a cave because that's where I lived all my life. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll do cave. Unfortunately, that's the worst answer. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> <laughs> no. Theo, I told you it was a bad idea. But you grew up in a cave. No, that's true. Hey, my were meerkat instincts. That's such a mouthful. <laughs> my my yeah. meerkat instincts are telling me that we should not go in the cave. Oh. Can, can I do this? Can I just sure. change my sure. answer? Yeah, let's Instead, go we should go on that wall. Let's do that. So you guys get one out of two. Okay. okay. okay so the cave and open field is never a good idea. Yeah. Because cave could potentially have like a bigger monsters and beasts already living inside. Oh, right. I forgot this is a fantasy world. Yeah, of course. I was just thinking like a regular secluded cave <laughs> in nature, but... Yo, 
Were your eyes always red? What are you talking about? And did you also have 20 eyes? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? We should probably get out of here. <laughs> You're finally close to the Whispering Forest. Uh, you stand at the edge of the woods. From here on, you need to be more alert. <gasps> Wait, slimes can turn into anything. So maybe there the are these trees. Hiya! Hiya! Uh, <laughs> I start whacking all the trees yep. around me. And I start punching them. <laughs> You're an alchemist! <laughs> Ben's got a three, and Theo's got a two, which means that Daniel just busted his pickaxe, and Theo hurt his hands. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Ow. Maybe we should have uh, walked into the forest before we started smashing everything. No freaking dog! <laughs> You're about to enter the monster territory, and one of you lost your weapon, the other injured oneself. I mean, there's a reason why I went all in on strength stat, not on the intelligence stat. <laughs> The okay, inside the forest, by the bush, you see a round and bouncy shape lurking in the shadows. You move forward Ooh. and sideways to get a better angle of view of the creature, and you're almost certain that it's the slime. It's a round, jiggly entity with a parasol at its center as a core. A what? A parasol? parasol? Yeah. What is that? One of those like umbrellas for sun. So it's got an umbrella on its core? Yeah. Wait, so, it's so a how big, big slime. is it's a huge slime? It's big enough to eat all three of us. So it's a huge slime. With an umbrella? Inside as a core? You think it's a core. It's at the center. It probably ate a kid with an umbrella. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. You just noticed a possible thread and it also happens to be your objective. How do you respond? Number one, avoid giving up the mission. Number two, keep your distance and observe. Number three, attack from distance. Number four, approach with caution. Yo, what do we do? One of you are injured and one of you lost your weapon. <laughs> oh yeah, I did injure my hand. Wait, how the heck did I lose a pickaxe? You swung a pickaxe to a tree. It's supposed to be able to break rocks. Rocks, yes. If you swing it to a tree, it just goes in there, gets stuck. When you swung it back, the handle got broke. Okay, fine. That's That makes sense. I told you you should have gotten the axe. What about me? What, what weapons do I have? You're an alchemist. So I just have like potions and... Honestly, just name any potion and then <laughs> Elias will make you roll for it. Okay. I feel like we should observe it a bit more. What was the mission? To get the core of a slime. Oh, so that umbrella. Why don't we just buy an umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> umbrella just indicates where the core is. The core is like a little gelatinous Oh, I thing. thought the umbrella was the core. Umbrella is just for later. It's it's a, it's a foreshadowing to later. It's not that important. Okay, I think we invested too much time in the umbrella. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it we should observe. Parasol. A parasol, sorry. We don't know what that is. We're too dumb. <laughs> yeah. oh, man. Okay, what do we do? Observe from a distance? I think so, yeah. That is the correct answer. Let's oh, go. Two let's out of go. two. Finally. Finally. Finally, we got one. Yeah. So what do we observe? Oh yeah, it turns out the slime you guys just saw is just one of the many. There were multiple blobs Jeez. in the ground, hanging the trees above in the branches, Ooh. waiting for its victims to pass so that they drop, swallow <gasps> your head, and suffocate you. That's oh. how slimes attack. What? That's scary. That's actually so good. Yo. I mean, scary, but like really well written. I'm Damn. sorry. I, I have an invisibility potion. Can I try it out? Sure. Can I roll a die for that? Yeah. Two. <laughs> Theo put on his invis <laughs> invisibility potion. <laughs> try to sneak under there, but slimes are environmental creatures that react to any changes to the surroundings. Right. So they dropped on your head and you suffocated and died. You lost a life. Oh, I'm dead. Finally, it's time to duel against a slime. Wait, which slime? There's so many. See, that's the thing. You might I see many of them, but they could be one thing. Do they have a, a hive mind? Uh, sort of like that. Right? What if they can all converge into a super slime? <laughs> a super sexy slime. Elf slime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can slime. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just, 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 yeah, just, just want to finish this. Okay, now you face a blue blob. It's a liquid monster, so no physical yep. attack's gonna do any damage on it. Not until we prove it. Theo, go punch it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> I throw my broken pickaxe at it. Hiya! Okay, roll for it. It's a two. It's an extra <laughs> snack for the slimes. Okay, I have a fire potion that I can just throw. Let me continue with my narration okay, for a okay, second. Okay, okay, sorry. So we just interrupt his narrations every five seconds. <laughs> Because you guys have made so much interaction with the slime, the slimes have noticed you and they approach you now. Do you start a fire to attack or do you use ice magic to freeze it? Or do you run, try to lure it away to some different location? We know how to use magic? I mean, he's got potions.
potion. I got the you potions. Don't. I got fire, ice. I'm sorry, Theo. Hold off for a sec. Originally, Theo wasn't supposed to be in this episode because this was like a very random yeah. thing. So you were originally going to ask me this question mm -hmm. and I answer it and your reply was going to be, sorry, you don't have this <laughs> magic. Yes. Is, is Was that the plan? Well, no, not the thank plan. God I, I, wrote, yeah. I wrote this before we kept the pilot started. I expected it to be more creative, but not in this sort of way. Excuse me, who else have ever been a rare meerkat miner? Literally nobody. <laughs> exactly. How am I supposed to anticipate that? Well, luckily, I have a fire potion Ooh. in my pocket. I feel like we should throw it, yeah. It's, is it called a Molotov? A Molotov cocktail? <laughs> is that your fire potion? <laughs> is that your choice? Fire. Oh yeah, let's yeah. do fire. Okay, so you guys throw a Molotov cocktail to the forest. Yeah. It quickly starts a fire. Right. And burns the forest down and makes it makes the whole thing dry. The slime goes away, but you got you two are both sued for the destruction of the forest. I knew it! What? By who? <laughs> By the guild. I told you, this is where the hunters and gatherers get their work done. Slime was the problem. We got rid of the problem. <laughs> Along with the main source of income. Oh. Where is going to alchemist get the slime now? You guys don't even have the core anymore. <laughs> wait, wait, the blue potion. That the oh. the, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's pull that. Let's, let's, pull pull, that. let's open that. I sure hope this helps us <laughs> as we talk in a decimated forest. <laughs> the blue potion was as actually a remnant of a body of the guild master. It pours into the ground, forms into one, and it grows into Elias, the guild Monster. Wait, I was watching you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, this is a test mission. Again and again, this is a test mission. Wait, so you didn't do anything while Theo's head melted off? He came back to life. That was my magic. Wait, we only get three of that? Before, yeah. <laughs> before you stop saving us? Do, do you think it's easy rewinding time? Oh, you can rewind time? Hey, that's what we we're going to ask. Yeah. Hey, can you rewind time? Yeah, can you? Screw you <laughs> <all>. <laughs> <laughs> my forest! This was my home! So run was the correct answer where you would lure it out of the forest into direct sunlight. It would have dried up, gotten smaller, and you could just pick up the parasol. Wait, so the parasol was the rune? No, I was just holding it because I'm the slime. Wait, you're the slime that killed Theo? <laughs> He's not dead! But you killed him! Yeah. I am charging you guys for the forest damage, by the Wait, way. Wait, no. What? This will be on your debt. Oh, You'll no. You'll have to pay it off. How much? Uh, three billion guild. Coins? Coins, yeah. Yikes. A guild mess. I'm already in alchemy school debt. Like, I, I can't. <laughs> I'll cut it in half between the two of you and each of you charged with 1.5 billion coins. But Theo's going to be gone after this episode. <laughs> I'm going to a different continent, <laughs> but... Okay, fine. Three million. Three million. Okay. You'll be charged with three million coins. Now, Theo, because he's still technically a student under student loan system, he's able to put a hold <laughs> on his financial problems and go back to school. Daniel, because you have so much debt, even though I should really expel you from the guild, mm -hmm. I cannot. I need you to work here. I work your debt though. So I'm in the guild? Yes. <gasps> I'm in the guild! Hey, yeah. congrats, yo. Theo, I'm really happy that you got to join me in this adventure. I don't know what I would have done without you. Hey, it was really fun. Even though we did terrible. You're but... iron, by the way, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I'm gonna lie down. 